it's been my experience that non-plant fibers don't make very good tinders for starting fires with a spark or an ember. Synthetics like polyester and nylon generally melt and snuff out the spark before a flame can form, and animal fibers, fibers like wool or hair just fizzle and smell bad. But what if that's all you have? Can you use non-plant fibers to make an effective fire starter if you mix them with pine gum? Well, to answer that question, I did a little experiment in my backyard. Uh, that's why you hear all the vehicles in the background. I compared the fibers from a woven polyester shirt, a knitted polyester fleece jacket, and a wool glove. First, I tried them without any pine gum. I didn't expect it to work, and I was right, except for once. With enough heat and quite a bit of luck, I did manage to get a little flame to form in, in the threads from the woven polyester fabric. Kind of like what happens when you melt the ends of a synthetic rope to the flame. Next, I mixed the fibers with pine gum and then tried lighting them with the ferrule rod. I compared the relative effectiveness of each by counting the number of strikes required to get a flame. I only counted the strikes that actually produced sparks. These are the threads from the woven polyester fabric, and I'm not going to show you the whole um, process because it took so many strikes. I counted a total of 85 strikes before I finally got that going but it did work. Next, I'm going to add pine gum to the polyester knit, the fleece material, and then attempt to light it with the ferro rod. Again, I'm not showing you all the strikes that were required, but I counted them, and it took a total of 45 strikes, positive strikes. Next. I'm going to use wool as my fiber. First I'll use strands of wool yarn just as they came when unraveled from the glove. And after that I'll use wool from the same glove but this time I've pulled apart the yarn as much as possible to expose the individual fibers. First I'll test the wool yarn mixed with pine gum. It worked somewhat better than the fleece and much better than the threads from the woven polyester fabric mixed with pine gum. It took 32 positive strikes. Next, I'm mixing the wool fibers with the pine gum. These are the fibers that I formed by pulling apart the yarn. With much more surface area and much smaller fiber diameter than the yarn, it took only three positive strikes to light this fire starter. Then last, just for the sake of comparison, I've included a natural plant fiber. This is the fluff from the milkweed that I'm mixing with pine gum. It lit on the very first positive strike and produced a very large flame almost immediately. So what did I learn? Well, non-plant fibers, when mixed with pine gum at least, can make an effective fire starter for use with a ferro rod. The keys to success, in my opinion, are reducing the material down to individual threads or fibers, the finer and the fluffier the better.
That's not a simple task, especially if you're cold and your fingers are numb. The second key is mixing the fibers very thoroughly with the pine gum so that nearly all of the threads are coated, at least lightly, with the pine gum. And third is to fluff up the tinder ball to be very loose and open so there's lots of ind individual pine gum coated fibers exposed and they have plenty of airspace around them. Even then, it usually took 10 to 20 times more strikes with the ferro rod before a spark would catch and turn into a flame.